Yeah, as you know, getting stuck in traffic is one of the biggest hassles of living here, but the state of California is exploring how to change that. State agencies just asked tech companies to offer up solutions to solve traffic jams and make roads safer using artificial intelligence. The request stems from an executive order signed in September by California Governor Gavin Newsom to study how to make AI work for Californians in a responsible way. Not surprisingly, Google is already working on something they call Project Greenlight. They're testing it right now in Seattle. It's pretty amazing. For more, we are joined by Google's Juliet Rothenberg. She plays a major role in Project Greenlight. I wore green just for you tonight, Juliet. <laughs> Thanks for being with me. Uh, okay, what, what is Project Greenlight and how does it work? Project Greenlight uses Google Maps driving trends together with AI to develop a model for each intersection so that we can optimize it with a goal to improve the lives of people around the globe. We're reducing stop and go traffic and simultaneously reducing frustration for drivers. And from our early pilot cities, we've seen really strong results. Okay, but I mean, this really just comes down to ad adjusting a traffic light even just a few seconds, and that's making an immense difference, right? Absolutely. Oftentimes our recommendations come down to shifting a few seconds of green time from, say, the east-west direction to the north-south direction, and we're able to see results. Our early numbers are showing up to 30% reduction in stop-and-go traffic and up to 10% reduction in associated emissions, which makes us a win-win both for drivers and for the planet. Okay, just to hit this point home, because I think it's important. So you, the AI technology literally sort of looks at all of the intersections throughout any given city and can say, this one isn't working properly. There's too much stop and go here. If you delay it three or four seconds, then you're going to see an improvement. Exactly. So traffic engineers within a city try to get to every traffic light across their city once every five years. That's the industry standard. But that's really hard for them to do because it takes them weeks or costs thousands to tens of thousands of dollars per intersection for them to optimize it. With AI, with Project Greenlight, and we're, we're able to analyze thousands of intersections simultaneously. And with that, we can then identify which intersections have most opportunity to save time for drivers and save emissions for the planet. Wow. And then, in ter I know it's, it's absolutely, my co-anchor here is going, wow, because it <laughs> is, it is, it's a really a wow thing. And, and uh, you know, having looked into this a little more today, once you do identify a problem intersection, it's not difficult to change the, the flow of, of the traffic light itself. It can literally be done in about five minutes, right? That's the piece that we've heard from cities, and that's part of what's so important about our work is, you know, we're not making these adjustments to traffic lights in real time, in part because we want this to be able to be a global solution. So in the U.S. right now, we're live in Seattle, we're live in Florida, we're also live in Hamburg, Germany, and Bangalore, India, and Jakarta, Indonesia, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. We want something that can work globally given the infrastructure that traffic engineers have today. So a solution that allows them to just make a change in five minutes is exactly what we're going for and exactly what we're enabling with AI. And, and you know, another plus here is that this is free. So if this comes to, and, and when, when Juliet is this coming to Los Angeles, uh, <laughs> it, that's what I wanna know. But then also, because there's a lot of people who are afraid of AI, what happens, I mean, it's not perfect. What happens if AI glitches and we do have less than a minute? So one of the really important parts of Project Greenlight is that city traffic engineers are always in control. All we do is we send recommendations over to city traffic engineers who then make judgments based on what they know about their individual city for whether this fits or not. So sometimes traffic engineers have told us, hey, thanks for the feedback on this light, but actually we're just about to make some construction changes here. So we're gonna go in a different direction. It's really important that city traffic engineers are always in control. All we do is share insights and information to help their jobs be easier. We gotta wrap it up, but I just wanna know, will this be in LA anytime soon, do you know? 
So we don't have immediate plans to come to LA, but we welcome cities to sign up on our wait list. Okay. Uh, you can Google Project Greenlight online and there's <laughs> a wait list for cities to sign up. Uh, we have a number of cities that we're going to be expanding to. We're live in 13 cities right now. Wow. We'd love to work with cities in California. Okay, well, uh, I appreciate you. That was really fascinating. Juliet Rothenberg from Google, thanks so much.